Okay, well, welcome everyone to Giggles and Guffaws with Laughter Yoga for the UCSF alumni. So we are so thrilled to have you guys here tonight and we hope that you're ready to have a lot of big laughs. Um, I also want you to know that we will answer a few brief questions at the end of the session. So go ahead and put that in the chat if you, if you have a few questions. So um, my name is Teresa Corrigan. I'm a nurse. I work at the Osher Center for Integrative Health, and I've been teaching laughter yoga there for the last 14 years. <laughs> <laughs> I teach a class there every Thursday night at six o'clock. It's free. It's drop in. So uh, they will be putting the Osher link in the chat. And so we would love to have you in the class. And I get the privilege of being tonight with my wonderful colleague, Amy, Amy Peel. And so she is an incredible person and laugher. So I'm gonna let Amy introduce herself. So Amy. Well, thank you, Teresa. <laughs> um, my day was better when I met her and took, got certified to be a laughter co yoga uh, teacher. But I, I was dire director of clinical operations for the transplant program at UCSF for a long time. And we did about 600 solid organ transplants a year there, in case you don't know, uh, and big faculty. So uh, when I retired, I decided I would kill people I didn't like from work. And I started a murder mystery um, series. And it's very cathartic. So if there are people you still don't like, it's legal because it's fiction. <laughs> and since I'm in transplant, I made sure I could use their organs for transplant because why waste the kill? So they'll be putting my link to my website in there. And I had a good time killing him. It was very cathartic. I didn't realize how um, I had a little pent up because, you know, at UC, we always have to be professional. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah correct. <laughs> so I'm, I'm honored to be here to laugh with my friend and to have this amazing session for all of you. So thanks for coming and taking care of your heart and soul with us today. We promise you, we, you won't, there will be no injuries unless your mouth might be a little <laughs> sore after. Other than that, you should be good to go, right? Absolutely, okay. absolutely. So um, Amy didn't also mention that she's a, a certified good teacher. To the so what we're going to be doing tonight is really combining some very simple stretching yoga moves with laughter. So most of you are familiar with yoga, but maybe some of you are, aren't so familiar with laughter yoga. So what laughter yoga is basically <laughs> is laugh for no reason. <laughs> no jokes, no comedy, just the sheer exercise of laughter. And we just have an opportunity to, you know, play and get into our childlike self and just enjoy it. And it's completely unconditional. So I want to say that right up front. Laugh or don't laugh. Laugh with us if it feels right. But laughter is truly the best medicine. And some of you, I know it's UCSF, so I just want to say this up front. The research is still in its very early phases. And so we take some of that idea of the research from the stress management literature because we know how, you know, how our mood is elevated, our stress is relieved, so many things shift when we're laughing. And so we just hope that you guys give it a try tonight in any way that feels right for you, completely unconditional. Just listen if that feels right, you know. And the most important thing is no new pain. Yes. So if we are doing, say, a belly breathing or a stretch or something and you have a bad shoulder, then just make sure that you do it within your comfort level or just skip it completely, okay? So that's our main thing. And so um, I think that we will start with some grounding with Amy. <laughs> right, so um, I took uh, some, I got certified at the Chopra Center. My knees weren't so good after I retired. I have new ones now, not to worry, but I learned how to teach yoga in a chair because you can actually do all the poses you do on the floor in a chair, which would be best for me early on because seeing me get up off the floor was pretty funny and I'm okay with that. So, but we're gonna sit in the chair. So make sure that your sits bones are in the chair and your feet are grounded. And you, you could just for a minute, pull your shoulders all the way up to your ears. This is kind of how I was the first day at the job. And, you know, director, I thought, oh my God, what's going on? So I'm gonna invite you to pull them up and then just roll them back and down and just notice some space on either side. So that's just a bit of a grounding. And then we're just going to breathe into our belly because we like to do that. And you can put your hands on your tummy. And what I'd like you to do is just inhale. And when you inhale, 
puff your tummy out like Santa Claus, just inhale, really, 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 and push that diaphragm down, open up the lungs a little bit down there. And then when you exhale, pull your belly button in. So we're inhale, push your tummy out through your nose and then exhale and pull your belly button to backbone. We'll do one or two more of those to kind of get you into your body. Inhale, put that tummy out, 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 and then exhale. And one last before we start getting it going here. So inhale and then exhale. Good, and just notice. Notice how you feel just after doing a few deep breaths. It's just kind of a gift to yourself because everywhere we go, we can bring our breath with us. That's our gift. So mm -hmm. that just gets you grounded in your chair. Mm -hmm. And um, so because this is just such a fun exercise also to do with laughter, we're going to start and just do a couple more of those breaths and let's just include the laughter. So just go ahead and put your hands back on your belly and inhale through your nose. And then as we exhale, we're going to laugh this time. Ready? Here we go. <laughs> Inhale. Get a lot of oxygen in there and exhale. <laughs> <laughs> that's what happens it just is infectious it's really good if there are other people in your house you might want to let them know you're fine it's just you know everything's good to go okay you haven't lost it okay so you're gonna say <laughs> well, okay, so you're going to say, well, what's so funny? <laughs> well, that's the whole idea about laughter yoga. We just, you know, completely unconditional, no jokes, no comedy. We just laugh. And it was just started in 1995 by a physician, Dr. Kataria in India. And originally, Dr. Kataria started with jokes and funny stories and you know that lasted for a while and then you know how jokes and funny stories like all the good ones have been told and I guess it was starting to get a little you know not so healthy anymore with the jokes and so he <laughs> was studying and he saw and in this article that he was reading that while our mind our brain you know knows that we're just going ha 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 the body is getting similar benefits and so he said, this is amazing. And it's so much like yoga because we do such extended belly breathing with the laughter and we're having a blast with it because Dr. Kataria was really suffering from some compassion fatigue and healthcare provider burnout. And he just wanted to lighten up a little bit. And so he went back into the park in Mumbai where he's from and he got people together and he said, let's just laugh for no reason. And then they put it together with all these silly little exercises and laughter yoga was born. And there are thousands of laughter clubs now all over the world. <coughs> so I also wanna just put this plug in every Thursday night at six o'clock, the Osher Center has a laughter class free and you guys please join us, it's so much fun. And I also want to just say this too, to add some legitimacy to it, Dr. Kataria is going to be doing a presentation at Stanford on Friday night, a free presentation, and they're going to put that information in the chat. If you want to see the master at work and learn more about laughter yoga, this is a great opportunity. So, um, well, let's just go ahead and let's warm up our face a little bit because some of you maybe haven't been laughing for a while, or as Amy said, when you have a lot of laughter, your face gets a little, can be a little sore. So let's go ahead and do this really silly exercise called the face burst. And first we're gonna just blow up our cheeks. And then we're gonna laugh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's try it again. <laughs> now let's laugh out of the left side of our mouth. <laughs> 
All right, son. things that we do in laughter yoga that kind of tells you we're finishing these silly exercises is we put our hands together like this now this is going to be really crazy we put our hands together like this kind of like seal clap because we have a lot of acupressure points that we're stimulating right so we're proud of ourselves for being you know in this childlike spirit and we go very good very good yay, yay. <laughs> <laughs> yes yes Okay, everybody, let's try it. Very good, very good. Yay! I love it. Okay, so now we're going to do a little bit of yoga for you. With, with, I hope you'll do it with me. So all of us, many of us, are on our computers all day or we're on our phone all day. Our head is down. And we're hunched over. So first of all, again, I want you to sit straight up, get those shoulders rolling back and down, belly button to backbone, sits bones on the chair, feet are on the floor. So we're all good to go. And I'm going to show you a real simple, quick hand yoga thing that's really good to help your hands. Because sometimes when you're like this, you get a little, you know, your knuckles and your hands mm -hmm. get sore. So we're going to do hand yoga. Mm -hmm. You don't have to know anything. I'll just show it to you. So you're gonna take your right thumb, show me your right thumb, everybody, da, 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 da. good. And you're gonna take it and put it on your left little finger, okay? And basically the middle knuckle on your left finger, little finger so that you support that and you're gonna bend the finger back. If it doesn't feel good, don't do it, don't hurt yourself. But basically you're bending your finger the opposite direction that it is almost all the time. So you're giving that knuckle a little love. Motion is lotion here. Let's give that synovial fluid in there. Take it on your ring finger, middle knuckle don't forget to breathe and just bend it back a little bit right on this hand just to give it some love middle finger same thing thumb supports the middle knuckle bend it back a little you might hear a little crunch at least sometimes i do and then your index finger same thing your thumb goes on that knuckle you bring it back oh and then on your thumb you're going to massage the meat of your thumb this is the meat of your thumb right so you really want to massage it. And then the last one that's good is you just straighten your arm. If you're able, try to keep your shoulders down, but I have to show you on screen so I'm gonna put my shoulders up. So you just straighten it out so that you can open up this whole area. Because remember, we're like this. So let's open up the knuckles and we'll do that. And then circle your wrists again, give that some love, synovial fluid, motion is lotion. Yeah, it's almost like, woo, look at the camera. <laughs> okay, now we're going to go the other hand and we're going to laugh while we do it. But remember, if it doesn't feel good, don't do it. We don't want to do any harm here. So you're going to take your left thumb and you're going to put it on your little finger, middle knuckle, and we're going to bend it back. <laughs> I don't get it. Doing the ring finger now, ready? <laughs> Good, good. Middle finger back. <laughs> and then your index finger. Take it there. Bring it back. <laughs> My neighbors are going to think we're crazy. And then you're going to massage the meat of this thumb. This thumb. Give it a good rub, right? <laughs> And then you're going to go ahead and straighten that, or if it's slower, straighten it out. We're going to open up this whole part here, straighten it out. Ah! <laughs> and then you circle the wrist one way. Oh! And then the other. So you've got your hands now. They're healthy. So every time you go down and do this, remember you can come up and do that. And the exciting thing is you can do this if you're in meetings. Or in places mm. people are not going to know what mm. you're doing. I do it all the time now. Nobody pays any attention. I'm not laughing loudly in public spaces, 
while I'm doing it, but it still feels good. So Absolutely. that's to your hands and give them some love because they do so much for you. Oh, wait. And don't forget, you can also bring your hand back this way. Really, everybody bring your hand back this way. No new pain, just to your comfort level. And then what we can do is we can just fling some laughter at each other, just like this. <laughs> the other side. Oh. <laughs> Who oh, knew? <laughs> Very good. Very good. Yay! Yay! Very good. Very good. Yay! What's well, also fun when you rub your right and left hand together, it activates your right and left brain and gets mm -hmm. you ready. So that's mm -hmm. if you're doing a big project and you want to get yourself too ready to go, this is a good little thing to do right before you dig in. Then add then some, some laughter, laughter to it. <laughs> <laughs> your body doesn't know the difference. So just turn the brain switch off for a few minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I know, this, is our, this is our UCS of alumni so <laughs> that may not be as easy but <laughs> I, you know I just want to add this one thing yes. that's so amazing one of the reasons why I love laughter yoga so much is because laughter is actually a form of meditation we are laughing we are totally here in the moment of this laugh we can't do yesterday's laugh or tomorrow's laugh right now. Mm -hmm. We're just here right in this moment, just experiencing this laughter. Mm -hmm. And so we have this profound opportunity to be goofy, to have fun, to get out of our mind and to just be present just in this way that we're also exercising and you know, stimulating all these wonderful hormones and all these things that we have for just doing these silly little exercises. So in a way, laughter is just, you know, one of our biggest gifts, the laughter and the breath, so innate, right? So we were just, you know, have this privilege of, you know, laughing for no reason. And so, so now just, we're doing a little side twister. So sitting in your chair, <laughs> and if you have an arm on your chair, that's fine. But you take your right hand, and you're going to put it across towards your left right here. And you're going to take your left hand and put it on the side. So you're going to sit up, take a breath in, and exhale, and then twist in your chair. Good for your spinal column. If it hurts, don't do it. And twist. So inhale up as if you have a little line pulling the top of your head up like it was you're on a ballerina. And then exhale. And now when we inhale, we, when we're going to exhale, we're going to laugh. So inhale and exhale. <laughs> <laughs> and then one more inhale on this side and exhale <laughs> and while we're over here if you want to do a few little chin circles one way good for your cervical if it's fine and then the other way, just around, it's really good. Just gives that neck a little love. It holds our head up. It's full of all that UCSF information that we know. And then just come on back to the middle and we're gonna do the other side. So you're taking your left hand, put it out by your left leg, right hand on the side of your chair, put your feet down, belly button to backbone, shoulder blades back and down, inhale. And then exhale over and then Inhale up and exhale over. And now we're going to inhale and laugh on the exhale. Inhale. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> inhale and exhale. <laughs> and one more time. Inhale. And exhale. <laughs> and do a few circles with your chin one way. Give it some love and then circle your chin another way. 
Yay. And then come back to center. And very good. <laughs> very good. Yay. Yay. One more time. Very good. Very good. Yay. Yay. <laughs> now, well, you want to do the cat and cow? Actually, <clears throat> we have How's our time? We got time. Okay, good. Well, you want to, so do, you probably, if you know yoga, there's a cat and cow. And that's just about arching the spine. And all of this yoga with the laughter is great because it gives your spinal column a little stretch mm -hmm. while you breathe. So we'll do a little cat, a few cat and cows when we start, and then we'll include the laughter. So you put your hands on your knees and get your feet on the ground. And when we're going to inhale, we're going to arch our back like a Halloween cat. So you're... Shoulders can come up. And then when you exhale, you put your chin up like to the ceiling. If it feels okay, if it doesn't feel good, don't do it. And inhale into the cat. And exhale, cow. Inhale. Pull that tummy in. And then exhale, cow. So we're going to get going, getting that spine moving, and then we'll just start inhale and exhale. <laughs> uh, inhale into the cat. Meow. Exhale. <laughs> One more round. Inhale, cat. Exhale, cow. <laughs> Good. And feel how that good that feels in your spine. Mm. Move around. Your body's going, what are you doing? Mm. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Yay! Yay! Very good. Very good. Yay! <laughs> I need to take a little bit of a nice breath. Oh, okay. everybody, let's use that nice belly breathing. Let's come up if we can from the sides and we're a little tight here. We're gonna come up from the sides going this way. Okay, if if it's comfortable for you, do that, but don't, don't if it's not comfortable for you. Mm -hmm. So let's take a nice big belly breath in, inhale through the nose, belly breath in, stretch up. Let's really start to stretch, stretch, stretch to the ceiling, feel that lengthening of the torso, nice. And then exhale through the mouth as you come down. We're a little tight here. Yes, we are. And <laughs> okay. And again, let's do one more big breath in, in through the nose. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Mm. And then let's go ahead and giggle it out as we come down. <laughs> oh my gosh. Huh? I'm having a good time. Oh, wow. oh you guys. Oh. You guys are great for the people we can see. Thank you so much for turning on your videos. It's so awesome to see your beautiful laughing faces. Yes. It's just yes. It's so awesome. Okay, oh. so now let's oh. just do something that, you know, I mean, we would love it if you could go out and share this with your family, your friends, your colleagues. But I realize that this is new for a lot of you and it might be <laughs> seeming a little odd. Um, but thank you, I should say, thank you for just being vulnerable and giving it a try. So here's a really simple exercise that you could do with anybody when they say, what did you do last night? Oh, I went to this crazy yoga, laughter yoga class. We're going to do what we call just square laughter. And so I'm going to just draw in the air. Let's see, where am I? Yeah, there I'm going to go. just draw in the air. Mm -hmm. And how we're going to do it, we're going to... Oh. Here. Come on over. over here. I won't bite you. Come on over here. We have to get on the screen. Yeah, we're, you know. we, we're gonna draw. I'm gonna draw a square. So we're gonna just watch me first. We're gonna inhale. Oh Christ, so out. There, there you go. I'll way over here. Yeah. Okay, we have to inhale <laughs> together wherever, wherever we go. Okay, whoops. Okay. <laughs> Where did that come from? I, I don't, don't know. know. I don't know. <laughs> okay. We're gonna inhale up on this side of the square. Then we're gonna still kept this way then we're gonna go when i'm gonna go I exhale to the top and inhale to the bottom and then we're gonna i mean through the side then we're gonna laugh across the bottom does that make sense everybody a square that's rectangle really okay inhale exhale 
Inhale. Never gonna laugh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, God, yeah. Everybody's got it, right? Let's try it again. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And then laugh on the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> You guys are awesome. Let's try the triangle. Inhale, exhale, and laugh. <laughs> you guys are amazing. Let's try it again. Inhale, exhale, and laugh. <laughs> circle of rainbow colors come on at least for me sometimes and I get mad now I just could laugh at the circle until it stops and whatever I wanted to come up and just laugh at that circle circle there you go why not my password I changed my password to laugh now <laughs> I have to put it in I go ah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah. Oh, so here's one I love that we did when we had training over it prior to COVID. There was a training um, down by Mount Zion. Was it down by Mount Zion? Yeah. And then when we were ready, they allowed us to go to the hospital on Parnassus and we got permission to go into a patient's room with their family and they knew we were coming. So it wasn't like, oh my God they've let these people out of <laughs> Langley Porter and they're in a room that wasn't the case I swear so we um got to go and if I, I could have taken a picture of the faces in that room before and after the woman's face was so happy and smiling mm -hmm. remember mm -hmm. but the one we practiced because you're in the elevator and if you worked at UC you know the elevators take three and a half years to come depending on which elevator you're taking <laughs> And once you figure out what elevator you're going to take, it doesn't take as long, but you don't tell anybody <laughs> because then everyone's on your elevator. So we had to do this. We did this elevator thing and, and I'll show you and Teresa and I'll do a demo and then we want you to join us. So when the elevator doors are open, no laughing, mm -mm. no, because you don't want to wake up the patients right mm -hmm. on each floor because, you know, it stops on all the floors. Right. But when the <laughs> elevator doors close, we started to laugh. So first of all, the elevator doors are open. But then when they close, <laughs> and you can try this on any elevator anywhere. You, you know they might catch on they might not they right might not they might not have... <laughs> very oh good God. very good very good very good okay 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 so i want to just show you this one because this is one of our favorites but also one that you can use anywhere I used to use this with my patients and we used to see each other out in the hallway and and my colleagues and it was just it was an amazing stress relief and it's called the silent laughter and so basically you get it we're just gonna laugh with no sound okay ready here we go <laughs> Hello. 
these types of these things. <laughs> <laughs> My stomach is aching. So when you get to dinner, if you haven't eaten, if you've eaten, oh boy, that indigestion. Holy cow. I hope you didn't eat beforehand. You should have probably told them don't eat dinner before. Wipe right? that smile off your face. Wipe that smile off your face, young lady. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. So we're going to do a little cool down breath. Um, but one thing we both want to invite you when you have things that make you laugh, like if you like a podcast or if you like to watch a show on TV, my husband and I keep watching Everybody Loves Raymond over and over again because we both laugh out loud and it's just a fun light show but if you have things you like I like a podcast called Smartless just things that can and you know that are silly and fun because that's what we need especially now is give ourselves this gift of love and humor and just a little lightheartedness as we move through our days in the world right now so we're just going to do a little bit of simple cool down breathing and would you like to lead that man? A simple breathing? Or would you like me to? Okay, so just I want you to <coughs> calm down a minute here. I still want to laugh more. I'm not going to lie, but you know, I just, I just can't yeah, I know it's hard, isn't it? <laughs> um, okay, we'll, okay. okay, so we're going to calm down. And one of the ways that you can calm down very easily, this is whether you're laughing a lot or you're kind of mad and, you know, you're not happy. If you put your palms up, Okay, and then you put them on your, your legs or your, your up. This activates the parasympathetic nervous system. So your body will automatically start to relax if you do that. So put your palms up. And then I invite you to take a nice long breath through your nose. And then exhale through your mouth. Have a nice sigh. And inhale through your nose. And then exhale. <sighs> One more time. Inhale really deep. Remember, bring your diaphragm down so that opens the lower lobes a little bit more. Inhale. And then exhale. <sighs> and I just ask you to notice like how you're feeling now between when you started with us today and where you are now. We've got all these endorphins circulating. We got some good laughter in. You might have some, you know, sore cheeks. That's a good sore. Hopefully you won't need anything. Just love them up like this and get them all on the fudge or whatever, you know. Um, and just let yourself kind of marinate in what you just, you just gave yourself a gift. You gave yourself endorphins. You stretched a little. You gave your hands some love. You did a little twister whister for your back. All those things. You got oxygen going in. So all these things just bring you to the present moment and help you, you know, appreciate where you are now in this day. And we're very grateful that you're here. Mm -hmm. We um, do probably have some time for some questions. If you have them, mm -hmm. we would love to respond if possible. And just mm -hmm. thank you for honoring mm -hmm. us with your time and being with yes. us here. And uh, we will um, take some questions uh, from the <clears> chat. <throat> I know that, uh, it looks like someone has his, um, his uh, hand up too. I don't know. Yeah. Can you hear me? Um, can, can you I hear just, me? I'm going to just say one thing before uh, we start with the questions. Um, 
we're not going to probably have time to answer that many questions, but just remember that there's a, a free class every Thursday night. I, we are posting an article that was published just in 2020 that's a systematic review of humor and laughter recent um, um, studies that were done because I'm sure a lot of you may have questions about the science and I wish we could really go into that. But again, Dr. Kataria, the founder of Laughter Yoga is giving a presentation at Stanford on Friday night that's free on Zoom, open to everyone. So the chat, it will have the link in there. And so I really encourage you if you're really interested in laughter yoga and you wanna find out more about it to, to go to Dr. Kataria's um, talk that he's giving on Friday night. And we would so, you know, of course, love to see you at our class. And so let's, shall we go ahead and look at some of the questions? Well, yeah. someone has his hand up. For, um, can you hear oh, me? Uh, can yes. you hear me? Yes, we can. Okay, because I'm a uh, computer ignorant. I am very proud to say I came as your uh, guest. I am from Georgia, Atlanta, Georgia. I moved to Bay Area. I used to do the laughter yoga in my town. I have done yoga, Tai Chi, and you don't, don't tell anybody. Now, it is on the loudspeaker. I am 87. <laughs> wow. You, wow. Will, you yes. think I am 60. Yes. Laughter is medicine. Laughter is medicine. Humor is medicine. Especially nowadays, we need a lot of laughter. Thank you. I can cut jokes. We used to circle. All the ladies, we used to go circle, cut a joke, and we used to laugh. It was in a small town near Atlanta. I know I've heard of Kataria. I know the story about the laughter yoga very well. Thank you. Thank oh, you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Welcome. Thank, thank you. you for your comments. My name, is, my name is Amrita. Amrita means delicious. Don't oh, eat. Oh, lovely. Oh, I love yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for sharing that. Look at you, what laughter's done, you young whippersnapper. <laughs> really? Woo. <laughs> laughter is the best medicine. Laughter is the best medicine. That oh, yeah. Old it fixes us the blood pressure. That is what oh. Dr. Kataria found out in the beginning. It cuts down your blood pressure. Yes. Mm -hmm. mm. Well, it certainly helps us manage our stress, for sure. So let, let's just kind of quickly review some of these chats. Oh, hi. People I've known from a long time ago. Oh, yeah. How lovely. OK. I think okay, most of the see. questions have come in, um, are going to come in verbally. Judith, did you have a question? You were raising your hand a little while ago. I think it was an error. I'm sorry. Um, oh, I do have my 98-year-old mother here. Um, oh, she, uh, she's never done this before. So um, we're, um, we're, you know, it really is therapeutic. Uh, I was in Vietnam um, just before the pandemic in January 2020. And there was a class in Hanoi and it was out by this little lake and uh, it was laughter yoga. And uh, so you're right, it is worldwide and uh, you know, it should spread because it's great. Thank you so much. Oh, uh, it, was, it was our privilege. It was our privilege. Yes. Yeah. I mean, if you just get on the website and just Google laughter yoga Zoom classes, because most everything has gone to go to, has gone to it, you know, an online format, at least for now. Uh, there are classes every day of the week at just about any time zone. And so there's just so much going on right now. It's amazing. So somebody says, I feel like I've been brainwashed. Is that normal? <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. Well, I mean, hopefully in a good way. <laughs> if, you're laughing, if you're laughing and it feels good, great. If it doesn't feel good, you shouldn't do it. You know, exactly. <laughs> Whatever works best for you, I think, is what's most important, right? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. yeah, yeah. I, uh, when I worked in transplant um, before I got to UCSF and University of Chicago, I, it was a tough job, so I sent myself to improv class um, so I would have some levity. So 
when I worked at, with uh, Dr. Asher and Dr. Roberts, I would uh, I would impersonate Dr. Roberts pretty well, I might add, in front of him, of course, because you want him to see if I've got my game on. And he, I did get him to laugh. I, I love the man. I think he's an amazing surgeon. And I even made fun of Dr. Asher and she, I got a chuckle out of her. So oh, I, I think people love to play. I think at the end, we're all young at heart. I think we have mm -hmm. a, a connection to laughter and as well mm -hmm. as hard work and everybody who's on here knows what hard work is. Cause when mm -hmm. you work at UCSF, you work really hard and you learn so much cause it's the, it's the A team all the way around. So mm -hmm. I just think it's, it's amazing that, that there's a way for us to learn to play with each mm -hmm. other a little bit when it's appropriate and then take care of our patients and our families when we are on our our our, uh, our job so absolutely yeah and, and i and i kind of want to follow up on that just in in case anyone might possibly be interested in continuing this work um so for quite a while we had a program where we would actually see the patients in the hospital and i had the sign i said you know laughter nurse which that of course got a lot of questions about what the heck that was and so walking into a patient's room and of course they would think oh no what now you know who are you white coat and I'd say hi I'm Teresa I'm the laughter nurse and they'd say what the heck is that you know and then <laughs> we you know, talk about it a little bit and you know some people would say get out of my room that's ridiculous or they would say okay well let's let's see what it's about of course being a nurse you're really you know According to how the patient is, we would first check with the charge nurses and make sure that we would get patients that it was appropriate for them. And so sometimes it was in the beginning, it was like, this is so crazy. But then by the end, they were like, when are you coming back? That was so incredible. I feel so much better. It's the best that I felt in, you know, so long. So truly just these couple minutes of laughter are so therapeutic. So yes. I really, we really hope that you will try it for yourself and that you'll pass it on if you're still in the clinical area or you're seeing people or doing, you know, whatever, that you would just really consider maybe starting your meeting with a couple of laughs or just, you know, mostly just doing it for yourself and knowing that it's fine. You can do it alone, too. You know, just looking at yourself in the mirror. I find pretty funny these days. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? <laughs> and it doesn't cost a thing. That's right. And it's, an, it's innate in all of us. I mean, if you think about it, we all laugh in the same language, right? Mm. And you know, babies laugh. We don't teach them how to laugh. Deaf people laugh. Blind people laugh. It's just innate. It's part of who we are. Jerry Jones, so, I see you have your hand up. Have you uh, tried this with uh, patients with dementia? I haven't, but other people have, and they've had some success, depending on you know, the situation. But, um, you know, laughter is universal, and some of the patients have been you know, very, very uh, interested in doing it. So I think it has a lot of potential. Hmm. Yeah, that's a good question. Thank you for that. Yeah, that's a great question. I want to share something. I am very new to this area where I live, I moved from Georgia. I've got 154 uh, condo complex. Nobody smiles, nobody do. They go, do you know you inspired me today? They may think I am crazy, I am. I'm going to start laughing and walking in the condo. Because oh, they, they have an iPod in the hand and the dog, they don't smile. They have a frown. I thought California is like this. I'm a Georgia woman. My heart is in always in Georgia. I left my heart in San Francisco. I have a son in San Francisco. Because of him, today I attended. I am going to start laughter when I'm walking alone. Good job, them, well done. Let them, let them think I'm crazy. That's okay. Ask, exactly. them to ask them to join you. Um, one thing that some people have tried mm -hmm. is a laughing club where you're walking, a laughing walk, walking club. Wow. So yes. you might ask them to join you as you walk and laugh and, you know, meet some new friends. That'd be awesome. <laughs> I hope it works out. I, I do really too. hope so. I do too. All right, I think we're at time here. Yeah. Um, is that right, team? Our uh, fabulous folks at UCSF alumni have been kind enough, Stephanie and 
Nancy, thank you for thank organizing you. this. They did a lot of pre-work mm -hmm. and we appreciate that. And mostly we just hope you all are leaving with a bit of a smile in your heart and hope you find a little more laughter in your days as they move along. So thank you thank so you, much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Amy and Teresa. Thank you. Yay. Yay. Very good, very good, yay. Yay. Thank you. <laughs> thank you yay. so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Giddy app. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody. Thank you.